So in the latest chapter of Dragon Ball Super, we saw Goku turn into Mastered Ultra Instinct and he beat the living crap out of Moro, who is now left missing a horn and an arm, and it looks like this arc is over. But at the very end of the chapter, obviously Beerus says, I have a really bad feeling about this because Goku wants to fight as an Earthling, which is a very, very clear foretelling that basically something else is going to happen. Moro has a trump card and this arc is not over yet. There's at least going to be one more climactic chapter before before it all wraps up. Now, I think one little thing that was overlooked recently was that Krillin is returning to the battlefield with Senzu Beans, but everybody is healed up, and what that means is, if Moro is able to get one of those Senzu Beans and return to his full power, he may actually have a chance. The question is, will that restore his gems in his hands and his helm and basically give him 7-3's abilities back yet again? If he's able to do that, he can potentially even copy Ultra Instinct, but I don't think think that even if he took a Senzu, those would fix, because when Miris struck those gems with his angel staff, Moro said that it was a sealing technique, and I don't think a Senzu bean can heal through a sealing technique. So even if he gains his full power back, I mean, even if he somehow gets a Zenkai boost, which I don't think that he should, will he be able to go up against Ultra Instinct? In battle, probably not. So he was definitely weakened by Miris, but Ultra Instinct Goku, perfect Ultra Instinct, as Whis and Beerus called it in the last chapter, is basically undefeatable. And so I don't think that even if Moro was able to achieve, to regain all of his power through a Senzu Bean, he'd really stand a chance. But I kind of have this feeling that if they decide to go in that direction, it's going to be a really epic battle nonetheless. Probably a lot of combat panels and things like that with Goku ultimately coming out on top. But I think it also could go in a couple other directions. One being that Moro uses his magic and he uses some sort of ability that we haven't seen before which catches even Goku off guard. And there's always the possibility that even if Goku starts out winning and this magic that Moro uses somehow turns the tide, Vegeta is still there with his forced spirit vision technique. Vegeta, <laughs> maybe it's it's wishful thinking, guys, because you know us, Dragon Ball fans, we know we all want Vegeta to take the W, and Dragon Ball fans are just completely disappointed at this huge training arc for Vegeta, getting spirit control, learning all these abilities, which he says he's never going to use again, like instantaneous movement, because he doesn't want to copy Kakarot, which is so dumb, by the way. But we all thought he was powered up, as we saw on Planet Yardrat, when he just pointed his finger and shot out this gigantic blast without even trying, but he comes in to fight Moro and points at himself, which is the clear telltale sign that he's going to get his butt kicked and, and knocked out, which is exactly what happened. So maybe it's wishful thinking, but there is that possibility that even if Goku somehow loses in Perfect Ultra Instinct, maybe if he lets his guard down, then Vegeta may come in with the Sucker Punch, activate Forced Spirit Fission, and split apart Moro, which will inherently make him weak enough for even Vegeta to take over. But we haven't really seen the maximum capabilities of Moro's magic. We've seen him eat planets and drain people's energy and stuff like that, but we haven't really seen too many magic abilities besides kind of just like eating people. That's his whole spiel, right? But that doesn't mean that he doesn't have plenty of other magic up his arsenal. And I think he's saving some trump card that he's going to use in the next chapter just so that this arc ends on a bang. I feel like there has to be one more element of suspense before they wrap this all up. Because, I mean, think about it. It would be kind of silly if they go into the next chapter and Moro simply laying there missing an arm and a horn and Goku's a mastered ultra instinct and he's just like, okay, Jacko, take Moro and take him away. And they lock him back up and that's pretty much the end. Now, Goku is supposed to kill Moro. He has the death penalty, right? So is Goku going to kill him? As I said in my previous videos, I think it's going to be something like Goku's going to have to deflect Moro's own blast back at him, which kills him. Like, Goku's not going to just straight up kill him, I don't think. They don't seem to write that way in Dragon Ball Super anymore because it's more kid-friendly. It's like, you don't kill people. It's like they have to kill themselves. So I think you could definitely see something like that. Now, Moro definitely wants to try and eat the planet, right? Like, that's his thing. He said that in the last chapter. Even if he's going to lose, he's going to try and eat the planet first. And Goku, in perfect Ultra Instinct, is obviously not going to let that happen. And even if somehow he got binded or paralyzed or something and he couldn't move and Moro's like, haha, I'm going to eat the planet now, Beerus is going to step up because he's not going to let all that good food go to waste. And that's the entire reason he's there on the planet in the first place. But I think it's pretty unlikely, maybe like a 1% to 5% 
10% chance that Beerus is going to get involved in the next chapter. I think you're maybe another 5 to 10% chance that Vegeta is going to get involved. But more than likely, Moro is going to use some sort of magic and it's going to be a lot of suspense again. And Goku is going to end up defeating him and destroying him by using Moro's own attack against him. Now, what is the trump card that he could use? I mean, it could literally be anything. He has magic. It could literally be anything. And obviously, he's not going to be able to use just the absorption technique against Ultra Instinct, perfect Ultra Instinct Goku, because as Goku had stated earlier in the manga, and the entire reason that he learned Ultra Instinct and Train with Mirus is because that he can, he can move so fast that basically Moro's magic to drain his power can't even hit him because he's too fast, right? So that's not a reasonable explanation, meaning that it's going to be some other plot hole, like some sort of way that Toyotaro can write himself out of this. Long story short, that means he could write any kind of crazy magic. He could give Moro anything he wants. There's basically no limitations. Moro has never expressed that there's any limitations to his magic. Most likely, Toyo is going to write something out of the blue that's going to be able to give Goku a little bit more of a challenge. I think we kind of deserve and they kind of owe it to us to show us a little bit more Ultra Instinct. Like, yeah, the combat in the last chapter was very cool, but we didn't really get to see Master Perfect Ultra Instinct Goku fight against an enemy at his full power. I mean, he was already damaged from fighting Mirus, and so that's kind of anticlimactic. And I guess that's the entire point of this video, obviously with what Beerus said at the end of the chapter. It's pretty clear here that something else is going to happen. So our boy Unreal and Gaming pointed this out on Twitter, a little collage here, of basically when Moro's arm got chopped off by Mirus, that arm still had a gem on it. Moro regrew that arm, and once he regrew it, that's when Mirus shattered the gem on his arm, meaning that there could potentially still be an arm with an intact 7-3 gem on it that he could use in kind of like a Majin Buu fashion. If you remember the, in the Majin Buu fights, you know, they'd slice off Majin Buu's tentacle and it would be hiding and he would use it later on to like absorb Gohan or something like that. Dragon Ball fans, they, they this may be just a case of Dragon Ball fans looking too deep into it. But it is possible. I could see Toyo potentially writing this in as a potential out. But again, the main gem on Moro's head is done, and that seems to be the one that he has to use to retain the abilities. So don't really know how I feel about this theory, but it is definitely possible. I feel like in Dragon Ball standards, they somehow have to bring Moro up to the level of perfect Ultra Instinct Goku or close to it. So we get that kind of end of the arc epic battle where Goku versus the enemy is very close in power and the combat is just incredible. You know, like Jiren, for example. Last time we got Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren, that's how it was. They were very similar in power and so the battle was incredible. And I think that they're aiming to do something else again like that here with the exception this time that Goku is not going to run out of stamina. He's not going to lose perfect Ultra Instinct instinct simply because he can't control it. So this perfect Ultra Instinct Goku is not supposed to have any sort of stamina drain on his body, or at least a lot less than when he used it in the Tournament of Power, because now he has perfected it. He's also gained the ability to just turn it on like a light switch, like Super Saiyan. So it's probably a similar amount of stamina consumption that Super Saiyan is. Probably more so when he first learned how to do it, and less so when he came out of the room in Spirit, of, Spirit in Time and perfected just based Super Saiyan, which was Super Saiyan Grade Four, uh, when he fought against Perfect Cell. So this means that he's gonna ha he's gonna be able to fight at full power. He's not gonna lose Master to Ultra Instinct simply because he can't control it. So the battle pretty much has to end with either Goku deflecting one of Moro's blasts back at him to destroy him, or Moro pulls out just some simply crazy magic that somehow is able to stop Perfect Ultra Instinct Goku. And in that case we're probably going to get either Vegeta or Beerus to come in. But to be honest, I really don't see it getting that far. But he's obviously going to do something in this next chapter, or Goku's going to let his guard down, or something is definitely going to happen. But I'm pretty sure at the end of this next chapter, it will be the end for Moro. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and give a like if you like this video. I'm Mastar, and I'll see you on the next one.